Question. 1. Which union ministry launched the Prajula Challenge? Option A. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Option B. Ministry of Rural Development. Option C. Ministry of Home Affairs. Option D. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Please comment correct answer in comment section. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Correct answer B. Ministry of Rural Development Notes Ministry of Rural Development's Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihoods Mission DNRLM has launched the Prajwala Challenge. Under the challenge, ideas are invited from individuals, enterprises, startups, private sector, civil society and others to transform the rural economy. Question 2. Which institution has urged stock exchanges to set up Investor Risk Reduction Access IRA platform? Option A RBI, Option B SEB, Option C Niti Aayog, Option D Supreme Court. Please comment correct answer in comment section. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Correct answer B. SEB notes markets regulator SEBI has asked stock exchanges to set up an investor risk reduction access era platform. The platform will give investors an opportunity to square off their position or cancel pending orders in case of disruption of trading services. There is a rise in instances of glitches in systems of trading members, some of which lead to disruption of trading services. Question. 3. What is the target for agricultural and processed food products from India for 2022-23? Option A 3.56 billion US dollars. Option B 13.56 billion US dollars. Option C 23.56 billion US dollars. Option D 43.56 billion US dollars. Please comment correct answer in comment section. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Correct answer C. 23.56 billion US dollars notes India's agricultural and processed food products exports rose by 16% in the first eight months April-November of the current financial year 2022-23 on an annual basis. For the year 2022-23, an export target of $23.56 billion has been fixed for the agricultural and processed food products basket. At present, the agricultural exports attain 74% of its annual export target. Question 4. Which department under the Ministry of Finance notifies changes in rates on small savings schemes? Option A. Department of Expenditure. Option B Department of Economic Affairs Option C Department of Revenue Option D Department of Financial Services Please comment correct answer in comment section 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Correct answer B Department of Economic Affairs Notes Department of Economic Affairs under the Ministry of Finance notifies changes in rates on small savings schemes. Recently, the government hiked the interest rates on various small savings schemes including Senior Citizen Savings Scheme for the January to March quarter. The PPF will continue to earn 7.10, while Sukanya Samriddhi Account Scheme will continue to earn 7.6 interest rate. Question 5. New Jalpai Gudi, which was in the news related to Vande Bharat Express is located in which state? Option A Assam, Option B West Bengal, Option C Andhra Pradesh, Option D Gujarat. Please comment correct answer in comment section. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Correct answer B West Bengal notes Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually flagged off the Vande Bharat Express connecting Havara and New Jalpaiguri. It is a railway station in Siliguri, West Bengal and is considered as the gateway to the northeast. The Vande Bharat Express covers a distance of 564 kilometers in 7.45 hours, will save 3 hours of travel time.
The Vande Bharat Express will be preferred by tea industry executives and tourists traveling to the Himalayas in North Bengal and Sikkim.